How do you, Alan Joyce, intend to resolve this situation? As far as I'm concerned, Paul, it's been resolved. We had the AGM, I got my five million dollars, the planes were grounded, everyone's a winner! <laughs> I think it's fair to say, though, you've made a lot of enemies this year. I made a lot of friends as well. Such, such as? Richard Branson friggin' loves me. <laughs> a shite load of business. He actually sent me a postcard saying if the Qantas fleet stays on the ground, he's going to buy himself a second Caribbean island. Oh. Yeah. These strikes have been going on now for months, haven't mm -hmm. they, Mr. Yeah. Jones? Yeah. Why haven't you been able to stop Qantas staff from walking off the job? Well, they can't very well fly off the job, Paul. The planes were grounded. <laughs> and what do you plan to do about it? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? I'm loving it, Paul. I haven't had a day off in years. I've got my cash, I'm just like, I'm like Scrooge McDuck, swimming around a big empty wheat silo full of gold coins, just, <gasps> Joyce Tales, woo, woo. <laughs> Don't bruise yourself on those gold coins. I'm spitting gold coins, Paul. Oh, it's so good. I'm the... loving it. <laughs> we haven't seen industrial action like this since the bad old days of the 70s. I wouldn't know, Paul, I've only been in Australia since 1996. And... And who were you working for then? Oh, some other airline I don't remember. Ansett. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Whatever happened to them? They suffered a complete financial collapse and went into liquidation. Did they? Oh, I must have been off sick that day. I don't remember. With contracts being outsourced to Asia, will the, will the Qantas logo remain the flying kangaroo? Of course it will. It'll just be wearing one of those little pointy straw hats they wear in the rice fields. <laughs> Clearly this industrial action will cost jobs. Just how many staff are you planning to get rid of? I'm planning to get rid of everyone except the flight attendants. Yeah, I figure they can fly the planes during takeoff and landing, and then do beverage and food while the plane's on autopilot, and then offer hand relief to Hollywood actors in the toilets on long haul flights. That, that incident only happened once, and it was years ago. I know, but it's still funny. <laughs> Voldemort joining the Mile High Club is some seriously amusing shite. <laughs> oh, it's my wand, Harry. Hey, what's your next move? I'm locking myself out. What are your demands? I want a lifetime supply of those biscuits and cheese you get in premium economy, and I want everyone to piss off and let me enjoy me pay packet in peace. <laughs> Alan Joyce, thank you so much for joining us no, tonight. No, thank you for joining me, Paul. Ducktails, woo! woo. <laughs> Australia's next top male model. I have managed to, to keep churning uh, out some great work. It's been a long and illustrious career. See these photos of Paul? Yeah. Do you want to draw a dick and balls on him? I mean, all well and good, Paul was pretty prolific in the 80s, but he's really let himself go. We are the new breed. From that shot to that shot, wipe a suction. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about this. Would it be possible to turn the monitor around so I don't see myself? It's just that... If the monitor's there, I'm just going to look at myself all the time. <laughs> Photos of Paul. It's like the Mona Lisa. The eyes actually follow you around the room. Yeah. You know, he's yeah, got yeah. that intense But it's gaze. funny, though, because I've seen nude photos of him and, and the penis follows you. Yeah. yeah. The penis follows you exactly yeah. like the Mona Lisa. That was actually Paul, though. He was standing in your room, I think. He was just swiveling. He was swiveling. Oh. Yeah. There can only be one Australia's next top male model. Good News World continues after the break, but first we cast our critical eye over more of the week's major players. <laughs> paging the Queen, paging the Queen, the Queen to Terminal 3, your Jetstar flight has boarded and we are waiting on you. <laughs> hey, remember when Mardi Gras floats used to be amazing? <laughs> what about this? Fast and Furious 6. <laughs> Buckingham Palace Drift. <laughs> Tomorrow is Melbourne Cup, and the question on every Australian lip is, who are those little men who ride round and round hitting horses for a living? Up uh, well, the... and women. Sorry? And women. All the men and women. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one's a girl that's got a bow. Oh. <laughs> it's good to know. So, who are the little men and women mm. who ride round and round hitting horses? 
for our pleasure. We've assembled tomorrow's top jockeys and jockettes to tell us all about the race that stops a nation. Oh, yeah, excuse me. Technically, the race doesn't stop the nation, Paul. No, technically Yeah, no. Qantas Union stop the nation. <laughs> Very true. Now sleep! Sleep stops the nation! Not all at once. Not everyone sleeps at once. Oh, I'm not at once, obviously. Otherwise, there'd be no point going out to bars at three in the morning. <laughs> because you'd be asleep, yeah? yeah? And there'd be very little sex, because at least one of you has to be awake. <laughs> doesn't stop the nation. It just starts a lot of women in hats drinking before midday. Why? Oh, they go. Pause the nation. What? Pause. You can't say pause. that it was pause, pause. pause. of the nation. Pause. Pause. How about momentarily distracts part of the nation that should get a life? Or a job? Pause. Come on. Now this must be totally exciting for you, with the nation's eyes upon each and every one of you. Not the whole nation. Oh, please don't start that again. I mean, this is why you became jockey, surely. Not really. We became jockeys because we're too tall to be dwarfs. <laughs> there must still be a bit of a thrill, though. I mean, the sheer power of steering these magnificent beasts to glory. Oh, steering? We don't steer them, mate. We just hang on for dear life. <laughs> I mean, they could totally do without us. <laughs> so what are you there for? The coloured shirts, Paul. The coloured shirts? I mean, punters are the dumbest bastards on earth. But they can tell the shirts apart. <laughs> well, that's right. There's, there's still the suspense of the punters, you know, picking a winner. Oh, you want to know who's going to win this year? Hmm. I forgot. Is it me? Shut up! Shut up! Stop ruining it! Okay. Stop ruining things! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. <laughs> is there some suggestion here that the cup is rigged? Certainly not. It's a genuine game of chance. All the names go into a hat, and then the owners draw a winner. Then we have the race. <laughs> <laughs> Your voice has changed. I know. I didn't like the other one. <laughs> Can you answer me this, jockeys and jockettes? What, what if, just if, what? What? the horses don't finish in the right order? What happens to them? Well, here's a tip. Don't eat the pies. <laughs> <laughs> jockeys away! Jockeys away! Jockeys away! This makes absolutely no sense. Well, I know. This legislation is bullshit! <laughs> Not the legislation, mate. My phone bill. Oh. There's all these hidden charges and data costs. I mean, I mean, how much would you expect to pay for a phone call? Well, what sort of phone call? Oh, I don't know. Say you're calling Dom from IT. Why would I be calling Dom from IT? <laughs> Dom from IT is... Get to me! Well, it's just a hypothetical, mate. Well, it wasn't a bloody hypothetical when I took my laptop in to get fixed, was it? You know what happened next? He wiped the data. 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 He took it. And he wiped the data. Well, so you're calling a different number then? You mean like a 1300 adult phone number? <sighs> no, not a 1300 bloody adult phone number. Because they can be expensive. Yes, but at least they're up front. Now, their terms and conditions are crystal clear. Mm. You are paying for a premium service. Exactly. I've, I've got 27 pages of 1300 adult phone calls right here, but at least they make sense. Hang on. What's that? What's that one there? Which one? That one. That one says 19 minutes. What the bloody hell were you doing spending 19 minutes on a 1300 adult phone call? Can you keep a secret? Oh, I'm insulted, you ask. <laughs> I'll call up. Fully intending to abide by my self-imposed two-minute limit. Well, you don't call them until you're nearly ready. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> anyway, after one minute or so, it becomes apparent that the female in question sounds familiar. Don't tell me it was... Kathy from the cafeteria. I've heard the rumours! Clear as day. Well, what did you do? Well, I said to her, mm. I said, Kathy, we may have regrettably found ourselves in an intimate phone-based conversation, but I am still paying for a premium service. And I expect you to remain professional. And what did she say? She asked me what I was wearing. You little beauty! <laughs> then what happened? It was all going fine mm -hmm. until I brought up a Thursday's a quiche. You did I did! You did! I did! You did! I did! You brought up Thursday's quiche during phone sex with Kathy from the cafeteria. <laughs> it was the only chance I had, mate. I mean, I mean, you saw the state of the quiche. How hard 
That isn't to make a cake. Eggs. Bowl. Whisk. Eggs. Bowl. Whisk. Eggs. Bowl. Whisk. Add a little butter. Add a little ham. Mix it. Cook it. Serve it. Cake. <laughs> So, so how did she take it? Orally. No. The... <laughs> and how did she take the quiche cook? Oh, well, she was a little upset. Mm. I mean, I, I told her if she wants to find out how a proper quiche is made, she should join the Qantas Club. Oh, I love the quiche in the Qantas Club. 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 So what are you going to do about your bill? Well, I've had to get a second job to pay for it. What job? Hmm. Excuse me. Backdoor bencher, what are you wearing? What? Sorry, mate. Pocket dial. Well, seriously. What, what, no, what are you wearing? Just before we go tonight, we'd like to pay a small Good News World tribute to a very special lady. She's gone now, but she's forever in our hearts. Fly away, Queen. Thanks for your time. Here's a gift basket with some Yolumba wine. You got moved in Brisbane, but that doesn't reflect how much we love you, how much we respect you. The Queen, my Queen, your Queen, our Queen. We did but see you passing by. The Queen, his Queen, their Queen, her Queen. We'll love you till the day you die, which could be any day now. And we just want to say how envious we are that you'll be gone. Cause you'll never have to live with the facts That Charles is the king <laughs> The queen has graced our currency for so many years But when we flip a coin it'll be tails or ears We may detest the monarchy and notions of class But when we post a letter we'll be licking his ass. He'll be king, king Charles, the king Oh shit, how did we end up with him for king? King Charles, king did bullshit, I can't believe they let it was William up there By that stage Kate will possibly have had an affair With her sister And Harry will be watching from the window Dressed as Hitler And Camilla will be drinking French champagne As her husband, who's the king Says that he wants to be her tampon <laughs> Yeah, that's the kind of world we're gonna live in When Charles is the king Fly away, queen Thanks for your time it's bound to be awkward when you see Princess die. I am the European. We invented the croc and bouche. I'm an American. We invented the hamburger. I'm an Australian. We invented the liquid lunch. Well, that's the way it was where we were in the world Monday, October the 31st. What's coming up next week, Mikey? I'll be jumping out of a cake at Katie Lang's 50th birthday, dressed as a naughty cowgirl. <laughs> she won't be happy. Claire? I'll be watching the online movie, Two Melbourne Girls, One Melbourne Cup. <laughs> Sammy J? I'll be reading Steve Jobs' biography on a revolutionary device that never needs recharging. A book. <laughs> Instead of Movember, I'll be participating in November and refusing to do anything at all. Randy. I'll be in Melbourne for the Joan Collins show. Gee, she's a great drummer. I hope she does in the air tonight. Do, 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 do. Everybody. I can feel it coming in the air. And I'll be at the world premiere of the new film, Michael Jackson, The Life of an Icon. The opening will be attended by such luminaries as the Jackson 4, the BG, and the Beatle. 
Good night.